Hey guys, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the 1602 What If episode and making as many of the characters as possible in Lego form. Now, this has taken me a little bit longer than usual to get out because I basically had to design every figure from scratch. You know, when we're talking about the multiverse, usually we're just changing a couple pieces, but the costumes in this were so elaborate and period specific that I basically had to make everybody from the ground up. So thanks for your patience on this. And without further ado, let's get into showing you how to build all the characters from this episode starting now. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe down below if you haven't already, and let's get into it. My friend Brody and I designed a Lego Kiss set, so we need all the support we can get from the Kiss Army. If you would click the link in the description of this video, you can support the set, and if we get enough supporters, Lego will actually consider making it into a real set. So let's get those supporter numbers up, and thanks so much for that. Of course, it wouldn't be a What If episode without the Watcher, so we always go ahead and start with him. This is the official Watcher minifigure that came in the Iron Man Sakaran armor set from 2021. So, I really can't think of a better way to make the Watcher than to use what LEGO actually gave us, so we'll start there. The episode opens with 1602 Loki, and this one was actually relatively easy to make. What I used are the legs, torso, the neck piece, and the skull that all come from the Shakespeare character from the LEGO CMS series, but the head and hair, of course, come from Ragnarok Loki. Now, realistically, you could use any Loki head that you have in your collection, but this shorter hair is the only hair that will fit with this neck piece on, and since they both came on Ragnarok Loki, that's why I chose to use this here. Up next, we have Thor, and for the base of this figure, that being the legs, torso, cape, and head, I went ahead and used the 2020 video game version of Thor. Then, of course, he got Mjolnir with white arms and this winged helmet from the LEGO CMF series. Nick Fury presented a bit of a challenge, but hey, I love a good challenge every now and then. The legs and head come from actual Nick Fury with black arms, black hands, and the flipped around torso from uh, O'Hara from the Lego Batman movie. Man, I forgot about that character until I needed it right here. <laughs> 1602 Captain Carter is going to require you to have the actual Captain Carter minifig. That'll get you the shield, torso, and legs from the CMF Captain Carter, as well as the head. Then I used this shoulder piece, which has come in several places, but in the Marvel theme, it most recently was used on Whiplash from the Iron Man Armory, and unfortunately, because you put this shoulder armor on, the only hair that's actually going to fit now is this um, ponytail hair, which is pretty common, and I added this waist cape from Alfred from the Lego Batman movie just to add a little bit of extra 1602 detail, and I like the way that that looks. Up next is Happy Hogan, who I basically had to start from scratch on again. I used dark blue legs with this flipped around torso from Commissioner Gordon from the Lego Batman movie with brown gloves on the hands there. The head comes from Aragorn from Lord of the Rings, and then this hat is from the Musketeer character from the Lego CMF series. I probably could have showed a what have flipped out the um, little feather in the cap here, but just to keep things simple, I left it exactly as is. But if you want to change the color, feel free to do so. Now, in this episode, Scarlet Witch's hair is a lot more brown than it is kind of like this strawberry blonde color, but because we only have so many options for getting printing on the tiara piece, went ahead and used the Multiverse of Madness version of Scarlet Witch for the hair, head, and torso. These arms come from Lobster Love and Batman from the Lego Batman movie to add a little bit more detail there that matches, and then these legs, or rather this skirt piece, came from the original Lego movie from one of the Wild West robot girls. I think that actually worked out pretty good. What do you think? For Tony Stark, I was a little conflicted because he does wear this red jacket, so I think the Star-Lord jacket from Volume 2 or Infinity War is pretty accurate, but in the show, his undershirt is white. So if we use the white sleeves, that's more accurate, but then it doesn't match the center of the torso shown here. So you could either use gray to match this if you want the continuity, or white if you want it to look a little more like the show, but otherwise, the rest is just the standard hair and head from Tony Stark and some khaki legs. Here we've got Roger's hood, who of course we find out is the forerunner, the man out of time yet again. And because he came from the moment in Infinity War where he struck Thanos' gauntlet and messed up the time stone, it makes sense that his head should come from Infinity War with the beard. I gave him some dark brown hair to match what we see in the show. Then he's got one of these skinny green Mandalorian capes, which I think looks really good with that Shakespeare torso we used on Loki earlier with dark brown hands and these legs from one of the forest men from the CMF series a while back. 
Ant-Man was definitely tricky to build, and I'm still not really sure how he's able to shrink in 1602, but regardless, I used the Ant-Man helmet we all know and love from Endgame. Then this torso came from Sabine from Rebels. I made sure to put some gloves on there that match what we see Lang wearing in the episode. I gave him a waist cape from Lego Star Wars and these dull molded legs with gray on top and red on bottom. Now the colors there aren't perfect, but I do like that it adds some more red to the character and definitely gives us that Ant-Man feel a little more closely. I think my Bucky figure here is one of the better ones in this entire showcase. I think it turned out pretty good. The head comes from Will Turner from Pirates of the Caribbean. With this brown hair, I believe it's from Harry Potter from Sirius Black, if memory serves correctly. But this torso and legs come from one of the CMF characters. I don't quite remember what his name is, but you can find him pretty easily. He's like a green knight forest guy. I'm sure Breaking Up Brad would know if you know him. He knows everything Castle. Anyways, to give him the Bucky arm, I used this one from the Lego Marvel CMF Series 1, and I gave him a crossbow to tie it all together. Hulk admittedly was a little difficult because he actually has like a goatee beard and there isn't a Lego goatee beard piece and there certainly isn't a green head with a goatee. So the next best thing I could think to do was give him this big mariachi mustache. I'm sure some people are going to not like that, but I would challenge you to think of something better to give a green head with a goatee in Lego form as of this video being made. There's really not any other options out there. Beyond that, the rest of the figure, like the legs, torso, and head, come from the mech version of Hulk, and I gave him the black Kylo Ren hair to show that his hair's grown out a bit. And finally, at the end of the episode, we see Supreme Strange. For this, I gave him the head and hands from the evil Doctor Strange from the Sanctum Sanctorum modular. Then he's got this collar piece from Zerg from Toy Story with this red on the inside, black on the outside cape from Jafar from the Lego Disney CMF Series 2. Ironically, the torso also comes from Jafar, that exact same figure. I gave him one of these Olympic medals to show the eye of Agamotto around his neck, dark blue arms, and these legs from Ninjago to finish it out. And speaking of finishing it out, let's go ahead and wrap up this showcase now. All right, guys, let me know what you think of these customs this was definitely one of the trickier showcases i've ever done for anything if i'm being honest with you so i'd love to hear what you guys think drop a comment down below be sure to check out my other what if custom videos and i'll see you guys on the next video